Salutations, Cosmonaut. This video is going to be a short video uh, talking about Doris. Now Doris Day. So I put uh, some final loving touches on her to really get her up to the point where I wanted. And honestly, I shouldn't have even released that first video uh, until I got to this point. But anyways, this is what I did. First and foremost, I wanted to sort out the interior, the structures, the way how the hallways were and where the ladder was placed. I did what I said I wanted to do. I moved my cockpit. Or not cockpit, the landing bay. The landing bay used to be right here, but I pushed it up here. And then I filled in these empty spaces with these Nova Bracers. And so they're kind of like placeholders, low mass placeholders in case I want to expand my crew. Right now it's at six. I want to expand it to eight. I got the space for it. But then the very next thing I did is I went to the Red Mile and I got the best version of these, uh, these engines, the SAE 5330s. So I got my mobility up to 71 now. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I also did some little cosmetic things. Like I was complaining about how I thought the, uh, the back, the rear here was, oh, was boring. The symmetry, I find it more agreeable now because of what I did. Like before there was like the, all this empty space in here and right here. And what I did is I filled in, uh, I filled in those spaces with the Deimos Spine C here on top of these engines. And I uh, added these Deimos Wing E's on the side here. Oh, I updated my reactor. I gained like one level and it unlocked this reactor. I'm like level... 35 or 36. So I got my power up to 34 generated. Still got the same grab drive. This grab drive is badass. And then another thing I did, and this is what sorted out uh, the pathing inside my ship. Kind of jumping all over the place here, aren't I? But anyways, here's the landing bay, which means that the ladder is right here. And so obviously I want the ladder to go up. So this is what I did. This used to be a three by one hab. And it was like an engineering bay, <laughs> which only had like one crew station. So I broke it up and put um, uh, a Stroud storeroom right here because this is where I want my um, my docker to be. I didn't want it to be here and I, I didn't want a three stories of, uh, of ladders. So that's how I broke that up. But anyways, this is a three by one engineering bay and I replaced it by a storeroom, Stroud storeroom and a Stroud control station. And underneath these, I used to have uh, a three by one right here, and this was a three by one all in one. So I broke this up in two. So I put this companionway directly above the landing gear to force the ladder to be here, and I put a Stroud all in one berth here. And I also uh, removed my missiles. I found that they, were, they weren't as effective or as fun as I thought it was going to be. So this is it. This is what Doris, or Doris Day, or maybe I'll just call her Didi, what she's going to be like for now. So this is what she looks like the final paint scheme. The final trim and finish. Yeah, so as, yeah, for the exterior, this is, she's done. This is what she's gonna look like. She looks way more solid without this weird hollow chamber I had here going on. And so this is the final specs here. Top speed currently at 140. My mobility is a 71 and my cargo is 3560. My shield is 1600 and my hull is 1134. Yeah, I really like my ship now, man. I am very satisfied with it. And I can see myself taking this all the way to the end game, but knowing me, I'm going to want to build ships, build another ship. Oh, one final thing. I almost forgot. I added a scan jammer multi-frequency. This is the, yeah, this is the one that requires Starship Design 3. And this is the scan jammer that increases your chance of evasion during a ship scan by 50%. Can you get your scanning chance above 89%? Can you get 100% 100% um, evasion with your uh, contraband smuggling? I don't know. I got to test that out. So from here on out, as far as like additional things, I really don't think she needs another reactor. I mean, I think I saw uh, in one of the build videos, someone had like a reactor that had 40 power generated. That could be pretty cool. Uh, so for future tweaks and improvements on this ship, what I'm thinking is probably some sort of turrets and replacing these to be something that other than some kind of auto firing kind of thing, because my reactor power problems are quickly going away. And I'm going to further that by spending perks that'll give me uh, five additional reactor power and the perks for speed, top end speed, so my speed will go up. And even the one where it gives you like 50% more cargo. So with this way how Doris is currently standing, I could really uh, kit her out even better with just by spending perks and not exactly buying new stuff for her. So anything else I purchase for her will probably be weapons related or something like that. So yeah, this is Doris. All right, let me give you uh, the new updated uh, tour walkthrough of my ship. All right, now instead of walking down a long dark tunnel, you just enter right here. 
go up here. Alright, so as soon as you enter, over here is the all-in-one. At the bathroom, the How beds. Into things? Oh god, girl talk again. Is our mutual acquaintance? Then behind here is all my st other stuff. Here's my workshop. Hey, Captain. Veers off, tees off to the left and right. So this hasn't changed. My infirmary. And my uh, armory. Um, I put stuff on these mannequins and uh, they disappeared. So those mannequins are not safe, man. I may replace that. Um, I may replace this armory for like the Stroud version or something. All right, so back to the entrance, and this is what's cool. Jump up. Right here is the cockpit. And back here is the crew station. And this is where the docker is. And I like the setup because, like, just in case you're being boarded, you close this off, barricade it, and there's only one point of entry for, like, anyone that's trying to invade you. For role-playing reasons. So, yeah, here we go. Here's the cockpit. You can just jump down. And then the beds are just over here. Yeah, I'm really happy with this setup, man. All right, and this is how my power is currently distributed. As you can see, my engines and my shields are maxed out now, and my primary weapons is mostly maxed out. So that's why I've been thinking about replacing my weapons with uh, the non-auto versions of it. So yeah, she's doing good. I don't need those missiles, man. <laughs> these cannons, these vanguards are just too badass. So there you go, Doris 2.0, I guess I'll call her. Or maybe it's more like 1.5. So yeah, I just wanted to share what I did with the to show you that I did have a much clearer picture in mind for her. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed Doris. And let me know if she inspired something, or if maybe you're going to even copy it. That, that would make me happy. That would probably make a billion plays happy, too. So have a great day. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate your support. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.